In today's video, I'm going to show you how to extend the width of your photos inside of Adobe Photoshop. So once you've launched up Adobe Photoshop and you have your image imported ready to go, we want to duplicate this layer by holding Command C and Command V. And then holding Command and pressing T, we can change the scale of this and we want to basically flip this around the other way. And now as soon as you've done that, you want to move that over to the left of the frame and position that up perfectly with the end of the original photo. Now we'll do the same thing again for the other side. So we'll copy the original photo by holding Command C and Command V. We'll change the scale of this by holding Command T, change the position of this and move this over to the right of the frame. So now we need to go ahead and blend these images together so that we can't see the joins. So we'll go to the Erase tool, we'll increase the size and we'll pull the hardness down to 0%. Now very carefully we'll just go to the edges of each photo and we'll just erase that line to make sure that these two shots blend together really nicely. And there you go, that is how you extend the width of your photos inside of Adobe Photoshop. But the problem is with my photo is because we've got these power lines in the background, because I've copied and pasted the image, you can see on the top left, these power lines do this really weird thing on the photo and it looks really unrealistic. So. I've got to go through and I've got to remove these from the photo. So we'll use the eyedropper tool to select the color of the sky. Then we'll go to the paintbrush tool, pull the hardness down to 0% and then just paint over the power lines matching the same color of the sky. And then we'll just go through the entire photo and complete this process for the whole sky. And there you go. That is how you extend the width of your photo inside of Adobe Photoshop. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe by pressing that circle icon up there. And also, don't forget to check out the previous video by clicking this rectangle icon just down here.